Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is MathSec. It's been a while, but I'm back with another exciting content from Triacme Challenge. Today, we will be tackling a silver plater. I have been busy with some professional commitments, but from now on, I'll try to post best videos more regularly. So if you're here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon for more cybersecurity content. Let's dive right in. Silver Plater is a simple and fun room. We found a silver piece installation and username. Then we try to brute force a password using a custom word list to get in. From there, we exploit a vulnerability that led us to read messages and found SSH credentials. And then we using those credentials, we got a shell and discovered another user in another user's password in the logs. So which helped us to escalate to root and finish the room. Let's get into hacking. Like always, we will start our VPN. Now we are connected successfully. Then I have created a folder uh, silver plater under triacne root directory. So let's start with an nmap scan. Nmap um, sc for default scripts. As we do enumerate the versions, and we need our IP. So which is this? Just paste it here, and then O N to save the output as normal. Um, and we're gonna save this file as initial, and we're gonna use P4 to speed up the scans. After some time, nmap scan has been completed. So if you see above port 22 SSH is open, port 80, which is HTTP, HTTP is open, and 8080, which is again HTTP is open. So um, let's get into a browser and just copy paste this IP and enter. So this looks like a normal web page. If you see, it's just a normal static page. Um, and if you click contact, there is, um, you would like to get into touch with us, please reach out to project manager on silver piece. So its username is script kitty. So now what we have to do is, um, let's first um, also try to visit this another URL, which is um, port 8080 and enter. So this shows not found. So what we can do is first we'll run uh, to find the uh, hidden directories in this both URLs. So we will go with um, Firex Buster. So Firex Buster, uh, we're gonna use a raft medium directory. And I'm just gonna replace the IP with the current IP. So Firex, uh, Firex Buster, you, you tag for URL and we after that we have to place the URL over here, and then we have to put a W, I mean, hyphen W for the word list. So I'm going to use a rough medium directories.txt word list and enter. At the same time, we can also run the another URL, which I mean, another, which runs on the another port. Um, we can run that. Correct, Buster. And the URL should be. This the port number should be 8080. Enter. If you see here, we couldn't find anything interesting, so just a few JS files, um, and the images. So there is no any interesting files over here. In this URL, we have a file. I mean, a thing called website. So let's check that. Um, let's open a browser and type website. It is forbidden. So let's click here. But if you see clearly here in this, uh, uh, I mean, this contact mentions that please reach out to our project manager on silver piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try, uh, adding a silver piece in this domain. Uh, I mean, so that we can access whether, uh, the silver piece or not, we can check here. So this shows not found. Uh, we can try it here on the port 8080. So now we have successfully, um, we, I mean, got access to silver piece login form. So now what we have to do is we also got an username, script kitty. So this is the username, but we doesn't know what is the password. And also if you see the, uh, I mean, the room intro, they have clearly mentioned that uh, while uh, it requires a password policy, uh, requires a password that have not been breached. 
So we cannot use a rocky.txt, which is already has all the breached password. So for this challenge, we have to create a custom word list. For that, what you have to do is you have to um, copy the URL. So which is this, just copy this and type CEWL and paste the URL. And we're going to save this file into password.txt and enter. So the password file has been created. What this tool can do is this can create a custom word list from using the uh, URL by, um, I mean, uh, by scrapping the data. So what we can do, we can view whether the password has been created. So let's view by that password.txt enter. So already there is a password has been created for those thing. Now what we can do, we can do a fuff. So we will first us fuff and this is going to be the URL, I mean. So before doing fuff, so what happens here is, I will explain you. So let's go here. If you type something here and type password, let's turn on the burp and go here. Let's log in. If you go to an HTTP history on the post request, you can see that, um, I think this one, yeah, this one, you can see that this is going through SilverP's authentication servlet. So that means this is going through this URL and we are giving a um, parameter which is login and password and also domain ID equal to zero. So, and also you can check, um, let's send this to repeater and send this. So let's do this again, once again, admin, admin, and let's intercept this request and send this to repeater. If you send this, this goes three not or found and follow redirection when you click follow redirection and again it goes to another login error code and if you again click follow re redirection you get a content length so using this we can ignore the false login i mean the false credentials and we can find the um i mean the valid credentials so we will use this so this should be the login page so we'll copy this so just copy the url um open a terminal so just go here and change the URL to this. So what we are doing here is puff and we have given hyphen u for URL. So with this is the uh, URL which we're gonna um, target and x is going to um, use for to mention the request method. So we are gonna use post method and we have given the uh, header which is content type. So we have to use this iPhone D is used to give the parameters. So I mean the data. So which we're gonna use as login equal to the script kitty, which is the username and password equal to first. So we're gonna first using a password, I mean the word list and domain ID equal to zero. And then we're gonna use iPhone W, which is uh, to mention the password, where the password file is. So password.txt and to match all. And we're gonna also uh, redirect all the, um, I mean, um, all the things which we are getting in the request. So we're gonna redirect and we're gonna check the end result. And if the end result is content length, which is 8282, we're gonna ignore that. And we're gonna only find the valid credentials. So T, uh, iPhone T and 10 is, uh, I mean 100 is to mention the thread. So now enter. You can see here, we have successfully found the password. So let's copy that. Let's go here and paste it in the form and login. So I think I have turned on intercept. So let's solve that. Uh, kitty and password should be this. We have successfully uh, logged into SilverPiece. Now, if you see here, we don't have uh, much information here. 
But when you go above, there is an unread notification. So when you click that, there is a user notification. So just try to click this and there is, um, I mean, the message from Tyler just as to I wanted to play VR. So there is a simple message from a manager. So let's click see more. Or when you click see more, there is a message, a game night. So just click that. Uh, I mean, just click like, like this. So there is a clearly a URL and the silver piece, uh, the domain and a parameter ID. So this gives, gives us a vector to test for IDO. So what we can do is we can just copy this and close it and just open a new tab and paste it and enter. So this shows that VR message, which is a game night message. Now, what we can do, either we can check for, so it is not changed. And if you click six, okay. So if you click, I mean, if you type six and enter, you can clearly see a username and password. So which is team username and password. So this is an SSH credentials of him. So you can try, uh, I mean, you can copy that. You can open a new tab, SSH, Tim, and the IP should be. Um, let's copy the IP. This is the IP. Let's paste it here and enter. Now let's type yes. And let's go here. Go to the URL and copy the password. So this is the password. Just copy and paste it here. Enter. So we have got successfully, um, I mean, SSH access. Now let's ls. We have user.txt. Now let's word count this. We have 38 characters. So, okay. We are good. Now what you have to do is we have to try to escalate this permission. So try sort of L. Uh, it's asking for team password. So which is this. So we don't have the permission. So what we can do, we can try to search what are all the things we have in this directory. So we don't have anything. So instead, what you can try, you can try uh, checking if there are any other users present in this, um, I mean, present in this mission. Password. Yes. Oh, sorry. It's cat. DC password. And so if you check this, you can see that there is an, another user present in this mission, which is Tyler and which is also a root user. So let's try to get access to that um, user. Um, let's go and move to CD bar log. So now we have moved to CD bar log and what you can do, you can grab. So we also, uh, I mean, I'll first show LS. So there is a uh, multiple directories and files in here. So what we're going to do, we're going to search recursively in that for a particular uh, string. So I'm going to search for password and enter. So if you see, there is a multiple, uh, I mean, uh, entries for password. So if you check here, we have a password for um, silver piece, user root, and I mean, pseudo Tyler. And this is the password. So what we can do, you can just copy that password and try to escalate to Tyler. So SU Tyler and paste the password here. Success. Now we have got a Tyler um, shell access. So now from here, what we have to do, we can type sudo L because this user can run sudo. So this is the password. We have to paste the password here and enter. So we have all access. So that means we can access as, we can um, make Tyler as root. So sudo s u. So now we are root. Now let's ls cd root ls and wc work count root dot txt. So we have 38 characters. So this is the easy way to solve this room. If you like this video, please subscribe and chat your friends. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.